Hello and welcome to the Edition Wrestling Face Podcast. I'm Joe. Um, have for season here today. I'm gonna be doing these every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If everything goes well during those days, um, they're pretty much gonna be news updates for the week. So, so you have your news the day actually comes out, and the take on it instead of waiting until Friday or the weekend for it. Uh, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year, my friends. I want to begin by thanking you guys for the continued support of our Summer Face Podcast. Podcasts. Pat and me take a lot of pride in what we do here, and we have a goal mine for where we want to see the podcast accomplish this year. Uh, it's official 2018, which means I'll hold us up for when I post the videos. I better remember to put the day maker instead of summer, so I'm a good man, I'm sure. That's really only the same shit, different day. Am I right? Yes, I am. Uh, it's Monday, which means it's a roll night, but this week should take place at the American Airlines Arena in Miami. Here's how it's so far, based off the preview of one day.com. The return of Brock Lesnar, based on the specific Brock Lesnar, but they're having his return roll tonight. A few Monday, he was just on the show two weeks ago, knocking most around the ring, dropping King of F5. The three man already matched over Rumble for Lesnar Universal title since Lesnar had the rating two weeks ago. I assume Kane or Strowman will look strong this week. So I'm roll tonight with a segment that may be a smart move. Rumble Reigns and Friends, Darren Cole changed to get some joke again. This match was announced in a tweet from Royal Joke Miners recurring on Friday with a stipulation on the match. The reason it was announced that was because WWE typically holds creative meetings for the next week's shows on Friday, so that's why the tweets were Friday to do from Kerr Angle. On the first roll of 2018, Roman Reigns would defend his icy title against Sancho. Roman was DQ'd to lose the match and that his title. It's possible to do a title change because I doubt Reigns is going to carry the icy title all the way to WrestleMania. I wouldn't do it here though. Keep it on Reigns for now. As a more defensive cruiser chance against Cedric Alexander. Alexander earns the shot from beating Drew Gulak after each one failed four matches and responds to spend it. I think it's also they did tell change just because the first whole year. So it's just a year off on Sunday. Same reason they did the title change last week. Here's not much else I repose other people declaring for more role matches and what's next for Rollins and Jordan as a tag team now. That they're changing these during more matches are probably later in the day. <laughs> In our world, Braun Strowman left the Royal Live event tour on Thursday to suffer from the flu. It was reported by the PDI inside that Strowman will be in Royal in Miami tonight. No more if he will have a match, but it's been four days since he was sent home, so he's likely to not matter. Strowman is part of the big universe to tell match, as Messi said. Meanwhile, Paige left the Royal Tour early to team kicked to the back with Sasha Banks story match last Wednesday, and was in a lot of pain. Break. Good news is that the injury was likely just a stinger and often serious. Being home for nearly a week will have her body recovered. The concern with Paige also is that she missed every year of range surgery, so they're just trying to pull her back in a ring. Um, PDA Insider reports that Paige should be a role tonight. I don't think she should be. She should be a match this year until it happened, but she can certainly improve kind of perhaps her absolution by Mandy Rose and Sonny Deville then work a tag match with Paige outside the ring to prevent Paige from taking most. The role crew has been on the road since Christmas Day in Chicago. And worked on live events every night in the last week, except on Sunday, which was New Year's Eve. The town flew on Sunday morning from Toronto to Miami to get the roll. The good thing is they got to leave the chilly northern U.S. Canada and got to fly to a much warmer climate in Miami. Well, news. John Cena announced on Twitter shortly after I was gone for the news that he will be in the Royal Rumble. John Cena, a Sunday morning on, and on the first day of 2018, possibilities are endless, opportunities are plentiful. Time to earn a day because on January 28th, I'm in the Royal Rumble match. I'm earning a chance to history of WrestleMania. Cena has already won it twice. I doubt he wins it again. The Miz Road won't post on Instagram about how great 2013 and look ahead to 2018. I think 2013 was his best year as a Super Sunday. And he, I'm not going to tell where he finished, I'll be on the worst show tomorrow night. But he finished pretty good in my awards because of it. In 2018, he's going to be a dad for the first time based because his lovely wife, Maurice, is pregnant. So he definitely has a lot to look forward to. Um, this is. This is the program saying post. Uh, 2017, a year where the ICT title became most talked about, most relevant, most received title in WWE. No title is featured more whether on live events, role, pay per view appearances, signs, and or TV radio interviews. So as I like to give a look at myself, WWE is a one man show. It takes only an old dance partner ring. But so many people will be honest as well. Thank you to all that helped me make this happen. And if you thought it was annoying in 2017, we tell you I had gained bigger hands in 2018. I hosted the Challenge Champ vs. Stars Season 2. For some season one, season two, the ratings went up 20%. I applaud the cast for not only bringing the funny, the drama, and the capacity that makes this show so entertaining, but for competing and raise money and awareness for charity. I love being able to come back to the place I live and realize I can do anything I set my mind to. I saw my fourth Marine movie, The Marine Six Closed Quarters. My dad will always take me to movies when I was a kid. I would see movie posters on Dream Sunday. That that could be me. I'm so proud to be part of this franchise. 
our armed forces are real engineers. I saw the first scene on the holiday USO tour. I should have ran a wrestling with my wife in front of 75,000 employees and millions of channels. I got to tell my wife for the first time. I have anything could be buried until Marty is pregnant. Uh, my boys can swim and we will be welcoming baby girl in the spring. I can't wait to meet her, hold her, guide her most morning, love her the best I can. Um, Marty's the best thing for our man. I really can't wait to tie her in for WWE. 2018 is a perfect year setting goals. I'm excited to see love tasting. I want to do the best I've ever done in the movie. I want to star in a movie be released in theaters. I want to continue to host the challenge. I want to be the best that I can be. I want to have the confidence cycles and not how hard they are I know. Before I will achieve in 2017 best of mine. The Jurassic Park Hawkins on his impressive 152 inch loser streak in 2017. Finn Bowers for all of his body. One highlights of 2017, the streak of Kurt Hawkins, 0 on 152. WWE runs polls on our website once in a while. They post an interest one as exactly midnight. Asking John Cena wins record for extending world title, WWE Universal in 2017. You can only vote yes or no. I vote yes. My favorite duel in WWE, Kevin kind of the same scene, loves in a second line with Remain Dirt Show in 2018. Kevin Owens is from Kevin Owens Twitter. Happy New Year, don't worry. Smackdown Live remains the same kind of show in 2018. Kevin's fire right about Smackdown Live being necessary because here you are the top two heels on the brain. I hope you guys get smooth roll post WrestleMania because they need to stay together on Smackdown. Ty Dillinger may be turning heel soon. They've been testing in a house chase with fans chanting Ty him like usual. But it's like encouraging him, he tells him to stop. It doesn't mean it's going to happen on TV right away, but it might be a necessary change for him since he has had such a minor role in Smackdown since so can call up to me or also post WrestleMania. Oh, uh, well, what else happened today? Uh, the WWE YouTube channel posted something called WWE Film Room with Bishop being here by Michael about his feud with Floyd Mayweather that led to their big match at WrestleMania 24 in 2008. There's some good insight for our show talking about how face actor Mayweather was on front punches. They also t watched the match and told about it in depth. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the latest three top videos is a look at 10 months which started on Vince Williams and Piper Conjurers and Moments. There's a billion of people who are but are talking in some sorts of the fan I was bored after about two minutes, but good luck to you if you watch it. Uh We're gonna be taking a look back and then just wanna plug a few things here. We're gonna be taking a look back at 2017 tomorrow on the podcast probably here and we are gonna do our twenty seventeen worst show. So that should be fun. And I'm also thinking about doing a ranking. I know we have a best match to work, but maybe we should also do maybe like our best 10 matches in WWE 2017. I think the top two for me are, are level ball reveals, and uh, it, it's probably tough to rank them. One thing I will say is WWE has had a lot of outstanding multi main matches in 2017. Now that I'm thinking about my head, we are spoiled by great matches all the time. Hopefully, we can all learn to appreciate them. But I just, that's all for now. It's very cold out here in Philadelphia. So, thank you for listening. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with our war show. Um, and of course, this weekend, check back for our live for our reviews of World Smackdown Live 205 Live NXT and everything else. And don't forget to visit us on Twitter down bottom at for past Twitter. It will be Twitter at. The Pat Young 215. My Twitter account, Twitter, on Twitter, at the Joe Venuto 215. The Pocket Twitter, at Russell IMB. On Instagram, at Russ, Russell IMB. And of course, our friend Isaiah, who, our graphic designer, which will be coming soon. Our logo, I promise you. At IBL underscore photography. Alright guys, I'm out here. Enjoy your ultimate. See you tomorrow. Bye.